Hi, I'm uh, Professor Paul Hunter. I'm uh, Professor of Health Protection at the University of East Anglia in, uh, in the UK and I'm the coordinator of the Aquavalence project. It's uh, my job to make sure that all of the uh, work packages and the cluster leads deliver what is required of the research. Aquavalence as a project started um, about two years ago when we uh, when we started putting together the consortium and since then it's grown to a, a consortium of 39 partners um, with representatives from 13 different countries. The overall aim of the project is to basically to improve public health in Europe and protect European people from health risks that might be associated with contaminated water. We tend to think of uh, problems that problems associated with contaminated water are really just an issue in developing countries. The reality is that even in some the best, um, most developed countries of the world, we still have problems associated with waterborne contamination and we still see waterborne outbreaks. The idea of the project is to actually try and prevent these outbreaks by spotting sooner when there has been a contamination event that could pose risks to humans and these contamination events could come from a variety of reasons they could be because of a breakdown in water treatment it could be because of um, flooding or heavy rainfall events and it could even be occasionally if uh, deliberate uh, criminal action against water uh, water treatment plants the project itself is divided into four main clusters Cluster one is basically concerned with is pure science. It's with understanding the genetics of these uh, organisms, how they cause disease, what we call their virulence, and how we can actually identify what um, parameters predict what's going to be a risk. Cluster two is taking that responsibility and that information and then trying to develop technologies that can actually spot problems earlier and that when problems actually develop be better able to predict what their impact will be in cluster f and and also to develop uh, technologies that can be useful for the real world that can be then develop and, and find a market after the end of the project uh, cluster three is concerned with actually taking those technologies and the methods and applying them in the real world, partly to the major water treatment plants, big water systems, but also equally importantly to very small water systems and to food producers, where actually probably most of the disease burden in Europe falls at the moment. And finally, uh, cluster um, four is all about actually, can we use this information to make things better? And uh, the, in five years' time, hopefully, we will have products that can actually make a real difference to public health. Thank you.